we build an amazing all-filter testing rig. And we're gonna show you why you shouldn't buy an original oil filter. For our first test, we wanna measure how much resistance each filter makes at normal running temperatures. Why should we care? Well, a more restricted oil filter will put more resistance on the oil flow, potentially reducing engine performance and efficiency. To see what filter is more restrictive, we will be taking a look at these gauges right here. The higher the difference of the pressure gauges, the more restrictive the filter. For our first contender, we have the Ford Motorcraft with a price of $8.44, claiming to remove 80% of particulates above 20 microns. The Ford Motorcraft comes in with 1.2 PSI at a flow of three gallons per minute. And as we increase the oil flow to 11 gallons per minute, it rises to 8.9 PSI. Why do we increase the flow rate? Well, we just want to simulate how your car's oil flow increases as you Turn up your engine. Our next contender is the General Motors OEM brand AC Delco with a price of $10.47. It claims to remove 98% of particulates above 25 microns. At three gallons per minute, the AC Delco comes in with 1.9 PSI and as we increase the flow rate to 11 gallons per minute, the pressure rises to 10.5 PSI. Next up, we have Toyota with a ridiculously low price of $6.43. After scouring through the internet, we were unable to locate the Micron ratings. Are they trying to hide something? At three gallons per minute, the Toyota filter comes in with an impressive 0.7 PSI. And as we increase the flow rate, it clocks in at only 8.1 PSI at 11 gallons per minute. For our last contender, we have Bosch Premium. Although not an OEM, we wanted to compare it to the others. Bosch comes in with a price of $10.85 and claims to filter up to 99% of particulates above 20 microns. The Bosch comes in with 2.1 PSI at 3 gallons per minute and 13.2 PSI at 11 gallons per minute. As you can see in this graph, the Toyota performed exceptionally well, while the Bosch proved to be very restrictive under operating temperatures. YouTube incorporated some cool animations to that like button, so make sure you go test it out. To test filtering performance, we pre-mix 1.1 grams of standardized dust into a beaker of oil. After placing four batches of this mixture for a total 4.4 grams of dust, we collected the samples, packaged them up, and send them to the oil analysis laboratory. You may be asking, why is that oil red? Well, given new motor oil has contaminants in it, it could impact our testing. Thus, we decided to follow the industry standard by using AeroShell 41. This oil is manufactured to extreme cleanliness standard. While the lab crunches the numbers, let's go ahead and perform our next test. Similar to the first test, we want to measure how much resistance each filter makes, but this time during cold temperatures. Did you know that your motor oil's viscosity can change drastically depending on its temperature? As the temperature gets colder, your motor oil will thicken substantially. To visualize, this is how liquid your motor oil is under operating temperature. And this is how thick it becomes at 38 degrees Fahrenheit. When your oil is this thick, the pressure on your oil filter increases, making your bypass valve open and allow unfiltered oil back into your engine. You might ask, how are you going to test this at cold temperatures? Great question. Short answer, we don't. Just like the industry tests, all we have to do is simulate the same viscosity of regular oil at 38 degrees Fahrenheit. To do this, we will be utilizing this special oil that has the viscosity needed at around 104 degrees Fahrenheit. To see which filter is best during cold temperatures, once again, we'll be looking at these gauges right here. The higher the difference of the pressure gauges, the more restrictive the filter. The Motorcraft has a differential pressure of 11.9 PSI at 3 GPM and 45.1 PSI at 11 GPM. The AC Delco comes in with 12.5 PSI at 3 GPM and 44.4 PSI at 11 gallons per minute. The Toyota oil filter has 11 PSI at 3 GPM and 38.6 at 11 GPM. And the Bosch comes in with 11.3 PSI at 3 GPM and only 34.6 PSI at 11 GPM. Once again, the Toyota filter dominated in this test, proving to be the least restrictive filter of this bunch. Something to note here, like in our previous videos, we will be basing our rankings on the exponential portions of the graph. 
as the linear portions are based on the friction caused by the bypass valve already being open. The motocross graph seems very interesting, and this is due to its bypass valve design similar to our last video's man filter. The lab results are in, and after filtering 4.4 grams of standardized dust, the motorcraft only had 450.9 particles between 21 and 38 microns, 29.8 particles between 38 and 70 microns, and 15.3 particles above 70 microns. The AC Delco came in with 134.2, 12, and 2.9. The Bosch filter was impressive with 56.4, 5.3, and one. The Toyota filter was extremely disappointing with 2,774, 366.7, and an astonishing 158.7 particles above 70 microns. This places the Toyota filter dead last on the filtering performance test. For our last test, we will be measuring capacity. To do this, we actually continued introducing dust until each of the filter's initial differential pressure increased by 8 psi. In other words, if the filter had an initial differential pressure of 3 psi, we would stop the test after it reached 11 psi. The Bosch had a capacity of just 4.4 grams. The AC Delco had a capacity of 4.62 grams. The Motocraft was able to gather 7.04 grams. And the Toyota filter kept going for so long, we were able to watch the entire Fast and the Furious saga. Twice. Just kidding but it actually had an impressive capacity of 13.42 grams. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on our next videos. Now let's take a look inside these filters. The Ford Motorcraft is pretty well built with a thick outer casing, a silicone drain back valve, and a synthetic blend media with a metal crimp joint. You might think that it doesn't have a bypass valve, but the Ford Motorcraft has the same bypass valve design as the MAN filter from our previous video. Instead of it being at the bottom, it is located at the base of the filter. Why is this the superior design? When an oil filter clogs up or the oil is too viscous because it's cold outside, the bypass valve opens and allows unfiltered oil to cycle through the engine. In a traditional design, the unfiltered oil passes through the dirty media before it can reach the bypass valve. This can cause unwanted contaminants to be picked up and cycle throughout the engine. The motocross bypass valve, on the other hand, moves that mechanism to the base of the filter. So once the pressure becomes too high, the unfiltered oil opens the valve and goes straight back into the engine, thus avoiding picking up extra contaminants leading to cleaner oil. The Bosch has a silicone drain back valve and a synthetic blend media. Although I got to say their workmanship is subpar. There is glue everywhere in this filter. Bosch features an integrated bypass valve, but for some reason they decided to go with a metal design instead of plastic or rubber like the other filters. Although this may seem more durable, this is a very poor design choice, as metal is not as pliable as the other materials and does not create a reliable seal, potentially leading to unfiltered oil getting mixed with filtered oil. The Toyota filter has a very unique design in almost every aspect. This is the first oil filter we have tested with a rubber bypass valve. The inner barrel is completely detachable. The filter media looks to be very consistent and pretty well manufactured, although it looks to be pretty clean for the 13 grams of dust that went through it. Making you wonder if unfiltered oil was leaking through the barrel connection or through the bypass valve. Lastly, we have the AC Delco. It has a thick outer casing, a disappointing rubber drain back valve as opposed to a silicone, a plastic inner barrel, and a blended cellulose medium. I have to say that the most disappointing thing about this filter is the lack of a bypass valve, a critical component in any oil filter design. Without this valve, if your filter clogs up, your engine will starve of oil and cause permanent damage. Here are the final results for our ongoing oil filter showdown series. As you can see, the Toyota took the lead in the capacity rankings, but is currently dead last on the filtering performance. And for all the OEMs we tested today, the Ford Motorcraft performed the best. So in conclusion, are OEMs better than the aftermarket oil filters? Not exactly. The AC Delco, I would just flat out not recommend. The fact that it does not have a bypass valve makes me want to stay as far away from that filter. 
Do take in mind that AC Delco might have other filters or models with a bypass valve that might change our opinion. For the Ford Motorcraft, although it did not perform as well as other aftermarket oil filters, I would still recommend it for people that insist on buying OEM. The Toyota filter, although cheap, had terrible filtering performance, which explains why it had such an amazing capacity. Do you think that Toyota intentionally designed the filters to allow more flow instead of filtering performance? Or do you think they're just wanting to meet the bare minimum specs to save up on manufacturing costs? Let us know in the comments down below. If you want to see a more detailed explanation to our testing methodology, make sure to go check out this video. As always, links are down below in the description. Thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.